okay so this is the next video in our continuation of our aws series so in this video so we will learn about s3 service only uh, but a few more options so in this video we will cover the s3 replication so we will cover like uh, a couple of points and we will see everything in the practical so uh, let's understand what is a replication so replication means so let's suppose uh, you have you created only one bucket and you uploaded your files into that bucket right but for the but if uh, let's suppose you have created the bucket into the london region and you are using only that bucket to upload upload uploading your files but let's suppose there is a, some like uh, flood in the london region and all the data center which exist in, in the london region uh, get disrupted so you will not able to access your s3 buckets so generally like uh, it is generally recommended during the disaster recovery so to prevent from the disaster recovery like our application should always work so it is generally recommended to create your resources in multiple regions and uh, so that uh, the user will not get impacted so we will create our buckets in the two regions and if we are uploading our file into one region then we want the all those files which we are uploading into one region those should automatically get replicated to the other regions so that if just in case uh, the uh, something happen badly happen with the bucket one or which is, which is in the region one then the user should not get impacted all the users can use the bucket uh, uh, which exists in the region two okay so that's why we will use the like uh, replication but how to enable the replication we will see so there are two things here one is the crr and one is the srr so cr is the cross region replication means when you have the bucket into the london region and you are replicating your data into the some another region that is the us region and same region replication means you have the bucket into the uh, like uh, london region maybe eu west one and you have like uh, copying into the london region only maybe in eu, EU west two or maybe like uh, within the london region or within the same zone you are creating the uh, bucket with a different name so these are two com uh, concept uh, the cross region replication and the uh, single region replication same region replication okay so let's start so what we have to do we have to go to the s3 and we will create two buckets because we have to do the replication so replication is from source bucket we want to copy that to data to the destination bucket so we need two buckets so let's create a bucket so bucket one so one we created into the london region and just create it create the bucket so this bucket has been created into the like uh, london region so let's create the uh, other bucket and this will uh, we create into the us region so let's select the us so us uh, maybe west two so we are creating into this that is a different region and let's create a bucket So we have the two buckets uh, like uh, like available. So right now there is no connection between between these two bucket. If I try to upload any file into region one, London region, so add files. So let's suppose we have the Indian flag, and I have uploaded my file into the into the London bucket, London bucket, right? Because the replication is not uh, like we have, like we have just created the bucket. So th whatever the objects into the region one, it will not get replicated to the region two. In the region two, we will not able to see the objects because there is no connection. These are the two different buckets. But if we want that whenever I upload any object into this region, automatically those objects get replicated to the region two. So what I have to do is, so let uh, um, okay so what we have to do so with the we have to do some settings into the region one so we have to 
like enable the replication to the region one. So open the region one bucket and go to the management section. And under the management section, you could see we have some like uh, column the replication rules, one uh, like a section of the replication rules. So we have to create the replication rule, give some name like uh, uh, bucket replication rule. Status is enabled because we want to enable the replication. That is fine. Source bucket. So from which bucket to which bucket we want to replicate? Source bucket is London bucket. Source region is London. Now, sir, rule. So whether we want to apply the rule to all the objects or to a limited set of objects which have some kind of prefix for the like uh, to keep it simple, we will select apply to all objects in the bucket. So rule should be applied to all the objects rather than to just the specific files for which started with maybe like logs or something like that. We are applying to the all the objects into the region in the bucket. Now, as I told you, we have the two things. One is the CRR, one is the SRR. That is the cross region replication and the same region replication. Plus, we have two more things. So one or two more things. So one source bucket and we have the destination bucket. So it could be in same account or it could be in the different account. It's not the reason the total the account itself is different. So let's suppose this is my account. So I, I, I have created the account and using my like a credit card and you have created your account using your credit card. So we have the two different accounts. So right now we have account this ID and when you created your ID like a uh, uh, account on the AWS, so you have, you get the different account ID. So we have two different accounts. So we can replicate even into the same account and also the different account. So we have only one, I have only one account. So I don't have any second account. So what we will do, choose a bucket in this account only, but we have the option choose the bucket into the another account as well. So we have to give the account ID and we have to give the bucket name, but we have only one account. So we will do the choose the bucket in this account only. So browse S3. And so the target bucket is US bucket. Choose path. So automatically you could see destination region is like US West 2 and the bucket is US. Okay. Now, if you notice, it is giving me some warning. All right, it is saying the replication require versioning to be enabled. So this is our third point, which I mentioned here, must enable versioning in source and the destination bucket. If we want to do the replication, it is mandatory to enable the versioning. Either you enable the version when we create creating the bucket. Why I am not creating uh, like, uh, like uh, enable the version during the creation of the bucket, because I want to show you this, uh, like uh, this error message. Like the version is mandatory. Otherwise, we will not able to like uh, do the replication. So it says that you have you have the source bucket, but on the source bucket versioning is not enabled. So you have to enable the bucket versioning. So I have enabled it. So there is just a button. And similarly for the destination target bucket, when I select the target bucket, it says the replication requires in the destination bucket as well. So let me enable the bucket versioning. So bucket versioning has been enabled in the destination bucket as well. Now. Now we have to choose. So there is a one bucket, there is a second bucket. So right, both bucket uh, their own policy, right? So we have to create some IAM role, role uh, which allow the replication things from one bucket to another another bucket, so that it can put the object, get the object. So get from one bucket put into the another bucket. So we have to create the IAM role. So choose from existing IAM role or anti IAM role. So we have, so there is option create an IAM role. So let's click create an IAM role and the role will automatically get created. And uh, scroll down and save it. Now they are mentioning replicate existing objects because when I created the bucket, I uploaded one file like India flag dot JPEG. So by default, what by default no is select, which means when you enable the replication, so bucket, so there are two things, buckets in the different account uh, and we have given the IAM role as well. Okay. 
now this thing is left. Object which exists before enabling the bucket will not get replicated by default. So we have one object, India flag, within the bucket one uh, region. So when I created the replication policy, the existing flag, which exists even before the enabling the replication, that will not get replicated. But if we want to get it replicated, then we have to choose yes. But if we don't want, we have to choose no. Let's suppose I don't want the existing object, whatever the new objects I will place, that I want to get it replicated. So no, do not replicate existing objects. Okay, submit. So now the replication rule has been created. So replication rules have been enabled. This is our destination bucket, US bucket. And uh, so yeah, so storage class, same as storage bucket, scope entire bucket. Entire bucket means whatever the objects like uh, exist into the bucket. And the rule has been created. Uh, IM role has been created. So click on the IM role. So this uh, IM role like uh, get automatically created if you look at the policy document. So let's expand it to see the policy document. So within the policy document, you could see the statements uh, and the action. So we have the version. So we have the two version, latest version 2012. Actions, effect is allow. It is not deny. It is allow. Resources, so which we have two resources. One is a London and one is a US. So like why, one minute. So why we give like uh, two buckets like twice, one with slash star and one with villa, without uh, like slash and star because there are some actions here which apply on the objects. So whatever the action which apply on the object, so we have to mention slash star. And there are some action which apply only on the object uh, bucket. So no need to mention. So we have to mention both the things. So same case with the US bucket. So we have mentioned like list object, get replication configuration, replication, uh, like uh, so many things here. Similarly here, replication object, replication delete, replicate, replicate tags. So all the things are like uh, this, this basically role has been created and the policy has been attached. Okay, so let's close this. So let's see whether it will get uh, uh, performing anything or not. So go to the bucket one London. So we have one flag here. And if we go to the bucket to US, we could not see anything here, right? Because we selected no, the existing object replication should not be applicable on the existing object by default. If we give yes, then it will get uh, the existing object itself will get replicated. So open the bucket one uh, like uh, London. Now upload one more file. So I have uploaded index uh, file. So now we are uploading the index file. So upload it. So close. So now we have uploaded into the London uh, bucket, which is in the London region. And we have like uh, enabled the replication on this bucket. So what we are expecting this index.html should be available into my US bucket. So open the US bucket. So right now you are not able to see any of that because it take a couple of seconds to get it replicated. So just keep it refresh. So yeah, now index.html has been like automatically came in the US bucket. I have not manually uploaded. It is the replication thing which automatically copy my files into the, into the another regions. Okay. And one more thing you, you notice, if you show the version here, so even it copy with the same version ID, it is not creating the new version. So the version is like a 4D A F E Q, right? And if you go to the like London region and show the version and the same version is here, 4D A F E Q. So even the version number is also same. So, so we have enabled the like uh, replication and uh, go to the US. Yeah, so the replication we need to only create onto the source bucket, not on into the destination bucket. Okay, so yes, so that's the end of the video. So before uh, closing, let's let's uh, like uh, we have like because we have completed our uh, hands on. So let's delete everything. So because we it it said delete because it is the versioning is enabled. So we have to delete all the version. So select and delete and permanently delete.
delete old object that's done and uh, delete this as well bucket to us this is been deleted now bucket one london so first i have to delete both the files because the versioning is enabled so you have to first own the versions and then select all then delete to permanently delete it. Otherwise, it will mark as a delete marker. So delete objects. So both objects has been deleted. Now go to the buckets. Delete the bucket as well. So bucket has been deleted. But one, one IAM role also created. So let's delete that IAM role. So go to the IAM section and uh, go to the roles so this crr crr means cross region replication role so automatically it give this name so we have to delete this role as well because we don't need this role right so delete and confirm it delete so your role has been deleted so that's the end of the video uh, thank you